air sign aries leo oh my god the king of wands again aries leo sagittarius maybe you want an answer from this person you want something to be obvious or evident um this person could be at work or this person has their own company okay this person is sincere this person you are mesmerized by this person or you you find this person mesmerizing or this is how they see you okay i can't help but be what something and then it says you are mine so maybe this person is dreaming of you or you are thinking of this fire sign and they feel maybe possessive over you maybe they want to be happy with you someone's probably watching you or you're watching someone a water sign cancer Pisces, scorpio okay uh maybe you're watching about someone that you love it can be the same fire sign maybe this person has water in their chart or you do and we see a lot of swords so someone has gemini strong gemini libra and um aquarius connections here all right other messages from from capricorn to her person feeling like this person is your twin flame your soul this person is thinking of you hard they're actually physically acting upon the thoughts it's not just thoughts they feel like you're their soulmates old school kind of love and uh, yeah someone wants some attention or wants is being flirtatious new feelings coming in in this love connection all right someone is missing another person or is thinking of past feelings maybe something that makes you sad maybe you want to release those maybe to really forgive to turn your burdens to light you want the transformation to come over your entire world as if you wish you could really come to complete healing as if many things that happened did not happen you know some of the paths that you went down on some of the experiences you had maybe with even with your twin flame or experiences in love love making in relationships communication that did not turn out so well capricorn some of them left you heartbroken you know some of them you had to walk away from and had you thinking differently um or this was your person you know um, but you feel you look strong you feel like you're always strong even though you get tempted to ad become addicted or controlling or get attached still whatever whatever we'd say is devilish vibration you know i do feel like you have connection to your ancestors strongly powerfully or you have some intuition that you're using to kind of give your like an overall perspective of your life what makes you sad feel like you're going through that now you're reflecting you know you're getting some insight about what's going on you're really like i feel shutting down the voices of other people's expectations and emotions and listening to your own self following in your own heart space and i feel like capricorn this is all brand new for you maybe you're learning how to be alone yes and it calls for you to be really sturdy in your emotions but even though it may be difficult maybe it's going to pay off yes for you brand new beginnings new new feelings a new world a new time all right capricorn see like things are transforming for you i feel money vibrations taking a leap of faith putting yourself out there doing things you've never done being committed also listening to your heart using your discernment capricorn all right this has been a long reading yeah a lot of healing is coming in for you water healing okay taking baths and so on and so forth disconnecting from friendships connections communications 
that really weren't serving you, you know. These things that reminded you, like, were just trophies of sadness that you need to kind of disconnect from, cut out of your life so that you can speak over your own space and welcome into your vibration what is going to serve you, things that will serve you. And in order for you to know that Capricorn, you need to learn how to listen to your heart. So spending time alone is good right now. You know, I feel like you're going to be feeling some things as you reflect, but it's not the end. You're at the, the peak of it or, you know, you're at the almost the last of it until you break through to the new beginning, you know. So I feel like you went through the crying, the tears, all of that. Maybe you're going, you're just sombering, somber now and, you know, accepting so that the change can come in for you. The eight of wands vibration listening so you can listen to your ancestors listen to your emotions follow your your feelings your intuition it's going to help you to be clear in your intuition it's going to help you to hear i feel things happening in your family hear the things that your family are saying about you people surrounding you yeah because it's like you're going to be so quiet maybe you're practicing silence or you're, you're learning how to move on maybe you're going to be physically relocating but i think this is a shift that is taking place in your well-being vibration, your thoughts, the things you choose to entertain around you. Now you're really having a greater vision for yourself. Like You're like, hmm, I can be, do, have everything and anything in this world I desire. And so you're looking at the people that are around you to see if they match that vibration. And you're learning how to hold your own, how to hold your tongue, how to keep your values strong. And you're so very powerful too, you know what I mean? Capricorn so continue yes you look so very vibrant beautiful and attractive right now you're on fire all right or this could be someone that's attracted to you looking at you observing your Aries Leo Sagittarius fire sign and this is a feminine vibration as well and then we have the lovers card Gemini Libra Aquarius the card of Gemini could be a union between two soulmates, two twin flames. Woo! And then we have the six of cups. So definitely, like, this could be a new connection that is coming in, new relationships. Maybe not one person, but a plethora of relationships. And it's like a, a combi a pe people similar to you who are deciding that they want better, who are deciding to move forward. You're going to find your crowd, your family of values people that are deciding to value love and all these things you're going to be moving with those people no i feel like i just lost you a while ago capricorn so see if you want to come back in or we're gonna have to go anyway because my battery is low so good reading thank you for coming through all right um much love to you on your journey and i will see you in the next one all right Take it easy out there. And something about a house, maybe building a house, or this is a dream or a goal of yours. And I feel, just let's get one more message. Just tell me about this house for Capricorn. We hear roots, family roots, creation, all right, family tree. Queen of Wands, um, I feel well, Twin Flame, a new beginning, new, vis new vision, feeling well, that's the Ace of Diamonds, like a gift and inheritance, we have clear communication, also working for something that you believe in and putting yourself out there, or accepting your gifts and working on it, working on something new, something is moving on or something new is coming in, someone wants to experience new, making new decisions. And then we have this beautiful Queen of Wands here, which is someone, it's like you're on fire, someone is excited, has a great vision and is just in anticipating it. But maybe there's a bit of a block, net, block, blockhead, maybe not sure if how to get there, or you're just really, really focused on visual, on, on manifesting that vision now. All right, Capricorn, see you in the next one. So continue serving, giving, and being open to receiving. And take care of your well-being internally first. All right, much love. 
Sea moss heals the body by removing harmful chemicals that are caused by some foods we eat, hormones, toxic substances, and radiation from 5G from our devices. Heal your temple with the minerals of infinite oceans. Sea moss has over 90 of the 102 nutrients our body needs, like copper, which creates balance and harmony. To learn more about sea moss health benefits or to order your first premium grade sea moss, email italkitchenstyle at gmail.com.